this hearing will uh, be a little bit different. This will be one of the strangest sessions of the United States Senate. Senator Tester. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you, uh, Senator Crapo and Senator Brown, for doing this meeting in, in modern history. I think that's you. I can't. People are watching <laughs> on television. They can't see that far away. And Senator Udall, you are joining us remotely. Thank you. Stop my video. Stop video. Stop video. We know what you look like. Okay. Oh, We're going to go back now and see if Senator Warren is available. Senator Warren. So we, we're in the middle of a public health pandemic. We're safer from death if we're not born, right? Is this thing working now, Jennifer? I see her. Can you hear me? Uh, Justice Sotomayor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. I think you can hear me. Justice Sotomayor. I'm sorry, Chief. As my lapel button indicates, we still like Ike. And what the FCC has said is that when the subject matter of the call ranges to the topic, then the call is transformed. China's military aspirations as part of the committee's work. Great question. I wonder how many of the reporters cleaned their house before they went online. It looks very clean. It's very nice. Some might wonder why my face looks a little hairy. The Procter & Gamble Company has converted some of their perfume-making factory to making hand sanitizer. It probably smells pretty good. And the business of the Senate is continuing. So does our Alaskan of the Week. One of my favorite times of the week. I think the presiding officer likes it a lot, too. Probably even more prestigious than winning the Pulitzer Prize for the United States. Congratulations on being our Alaskan of the week. Three trillion dollars. Now we're going to have a picture with the Maryland delegation space. That's 12 zeros. How are we doing? What did you get the middle? You guys look together, right? We can prepare our country for the day when we will finally, God willing, return to normal.